hello friends welcome to this video in continuation with the previous video where we saw that what are the options that we have in the pivot table analyze tab now in this video i'll be focusing on the another tab which is known as pivot table design tab so let us see that what options we have in the pivot table design tab currently in our first pivot table where we are having here the category and the subcategory in the row section in the column section we have placed here region and in the value section we have kept here the sum of profit let us go to the design tab first of all as i said that you have to select one cell within the pivot table then only you can see these two tabs over here pivot table analyze tab in the design tab so now i'll go to the design tab now in the design tab the first button that we have here is the subtotals so if i click on the subtotals i have this option that is do not show subtotals show all subtotals at bottom of group show all subtotals at top of group so here we are having some subtotals you can see that it is shown on the top so these are the subtotals for the furniture category then we have for the office supplies and then we have the subtotals for the technology category so if i do not want to see these subtotals i can click on this button subtotals in the design tab and i click this option do not show subtotals so now you see the subtotals are gone if i want to bring it back i can click on this button subtotals and now i can see the option bottom of the group or top of the group let me select here bottom of the group and now you see that all these subtotals are at the bottom of the group if i want to see on the top i can again go to the subtotals i can click this option so all subtotals at top of group and now it is showing me at the top of group so you can decide so this is the first button subtotals then we have another button known as grand totals now see these are the grand totals as i mentioned in the previous videos that we are having two kind of grand total one is known as our row grand total and second one is known as our column grand total so this is your column grand total because for the whole column you are having here the total so this is known as your column grand total and then this is your row grand total because for the whole row you are having here the total so now i can decide whether i want to keep both the grand totals or i do not want to see any of the grand total or i want to see one grand total let's say row grand total or i want to see only the column grand total so if i go to this design tab grand totals then i can see this option off for rows and columns if i do not want to see any grand total i can click this first option if i want to see both the grand totals i have to click this second option on for rows and columns on for rows only means if i want to see only the row grand total i can click this third option and if i want to see only the column grand total then i have to select the fourth option so suppose if i make it off so see now both the grand totals are gone i am now outside the pivot table so i have to again click here within the pivot table so now i'm within the pivot table and now i have to again go to the grand total if i want to get it back i have to click on this option on for rows and columns or if i want to see only the row grand total i can click the third option so it is showing me only the row grand total or if i want to see the column grand total i can click the fourth option so now it is showing me only the column grand total but normally i will suggest you to go for the both the grand total that is row grand total and column grand total so this is that button grand totals then we have one important button here known as report layout so if i click on the report layout i am having here three options compact form outline form and tabular form by default whenever you are creating a pivot table it will be always compact form that is the default form now here what we are having the problem that in this pivot table we are having here the row labels and column labels now i do not want to see these two options or these two titles because what should be here in the row labels instead of row labels i want to have here the title category and subcategory and in the column labels i want to see here the title region because these are the four regions so this row labels column labels doesn't give you any information so what you can do you can go to the report layout in the report layout you can click this second option known as outline form if i click on the outline form so now you can see here category sub category and the region so now these titles are perfect so this is known as outline form if i click on the tabular form then this is my tabular form in tabular form also we see the titles clearly but now the question will come that okay what is the difference between the outline form and the tabular form so if i again go to the outline form in outline form you can see that here we are having some spaces there are some blank area here and you see that how the two hierarchy levels are shown first of all it is showing you here the category and within the category below you are able to see these four sub categories so this is the outline form if i go to the tabular form then the tabular form you can see that this furniture is written here the bookcase is also written here in the same line and now i can see here the grid lines if you want to see the grid lines then you have to go for the tabular form if i go for compact form then in the compact form you can see that i am having only one column there is only one column where we have the category also and we have the subcategory also so if you want to make it compact you can go for the compact form 
but the problem with the compact form is this that i can see here these two titles but if you don't like these titles also i can also definitely change over here even if you are in the compact form i can select this cell over here and i can write down here category comma subcategory yeah i can also manually type here let me make it bigger for you and instead of column labels i can give here the title region press enter so i can also manually enter the titles here so this is our compact form so this is that button here now we also have another two option that is repeat all item labels if i click on this option repeat all item labels as such we don't see here the changes but what i'll suggest you let us go to this outline form and now when i go to the outline form and when i click this option repeat all item labels then here you can see that furniture is written four times office supplies is written nine times yeah, definitely this doesn't look good but this is what we are having this option repeat all item labels and if you do not want to see this repeat item labels you have to click on this option do not repeat item labels i click it and now this is looking better so this is what we mean by the report layout button then we have the blank rows so here it says insert blank line after each item if i click this first option then and here you can see that it has created one blank line here so it is now segregating the things okay from furniture to office supplies so here also we are having another row so if you want to have such kind of thing then you can go for this option insert blank line after each item if you want to remove it you can click on this option remove blank line after each item and now the blank line are gone then we have here four option that is row headers column headers banded rows and banded columns so by default you can see here we are having the row header and column header suppose if i remove this tick mark from the row header something is changing over here or if i remove the column header you see that this is your column header the blue patch it is your column header so we will keep it like that now we have here banded rows if i put here the tick mark in front of banded rows so see these are your bands yeah normally sometimes these bands are very very important because if you want to segregate these values let's say you are having a very large pivot table and you want to see some values specifically then you can go for this banded rows and then if i want to go for banded columns i can put the tick mark over here and now this is the banded column it all depends upon you what do you want to do here either you want to go for both or you want to just go for banded rows or banded columns normally i have seen people they are using the banded rows then finally we are having here the pivot table styles so here we can click on the drop down and now what i can do i can give the different colors to this pivot table yeah just to make it a little bit fancy so here i am having the light color options medium color options and then we also have the dark color options so suppose if i select this one or this one you see it is changing just i have to move my pointer here or this one suppose if i like this one i can click this one so now this is your pivot table so you can decide your pivot table styles here depending upon your preference and these colors will change and the format will also change friends here we have seen the various options that we have in the pivot table design tab now in the next video we'll be focusing on another important topic which is known as date grouping so suppose if you are having a date column and if you are using the date column in our pivot table then we want to do the grouping based on years quarters months etc so let us see in the next video this topic known as date grouping thank you very much